That's it. That's right. And so you couldn't, you could, if you're on a train, you couldn't go to the dining car. If you're on the road, you couldn't stop at a, at a restaurant because they wouldn't serve you. So the family would put together fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Picnic bags. You know, time. whatever. You yeah. Know, yeah, because it didn't spoil. And, and folks would put their, like college kids would be going off to school, mm -hmm. right? Pack them a lunch. Pack them a lunch, and, and they pack up, and that's why it became a staple. That's right. And, and that's, that's the sort of, all right, 53, two minutes left, I'm sorry. So that, let me, uh, hey, hey, AJ from Virginia, quickly, hi. And then I'll hey, try to hey. go quickly, hi. Hey. Yes, yes, Brother Joe. Now, I just wanted to circle back. I, I really enjoyed your comment. you got to circle back quickly. Two minutes and yeah. you maybe get 30 seconds. Go ahead. <laughs> we, white folk in this country have a remedial understanding of history, and until we face the truth of it, we're still going to be serving fried chicken and watermelon at Ikea. And that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> and then little turd balls, they call them. <laughs> <Slimy> balls. <laughs> Lloyd from Louisiana, quickly. <laughs> yeah, um, Joe, I'm sorry. I can't agree with you on this one. Um, the food that they cook, I grew up on here. I embrace that. I, I think that it's a shame they Thank you very much, man. on the planning committee. However, that's what my family eats. And we well, have I, food. I understand that. But it was a, okay. it was it was a, it was it was stereotypical. I grew up on it too. How am I stereotypical, Joe? That's who we are. Every black person I know cooks fried chicken. Every when we're not supposed to eat watermelon anymore because it's a stereotypical black food. It, 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 black it depends. Food? No, no, it de de Lloyd, food listen. It it depends on the intent. Yes, and so if it was. If it was innocently intended, why on earth didn't you consult black people? Thank you. Would you quit cook Hawaiian food with all Hawaiians around you and you aren't? Oh, no, no. Here, hey, hey, Louisiana, Lloyd, you think I would yeah. cook gumbo and not ask somebody from New Orleans how to do it? Shut up. Thank you. No, you wouldn't. And you'd be the first one, you'd be the first one to call and say, wait a minute. You got you went up there and fixed gumbo and you didn't ask somebody from New Orleans how to do it? Come on. They cooked greens in our dormitory, predominantly white people. They brought us in first. No complaints. One eight six yeah, thank you. But he, he missed the whole point. You know, it, it, and by the way, what is it what the fuck does it have to do with Juneteenth? Resist. Resist, be disrespectful, filthy, slimy horse. Dino Sting. Dino Sting.